Coming to you live from home once again, and today we are going to do some nerdy Q&A. Because I consider myself a bit of a nerd anyhow. And I have seen a celebrity list of uh, celebrity nerds, among which I include one of my favorite female nerds. So, I have my associate and friend put, that, put together a list of questions for me to answer. I put a sense of thought into. Trivia is not totally my thing, anyhow, so... Alright, so, question one, do I consider myself a nerd, a nerd girl? Yes, very much so, because I'm very well read. I got good scores throughout high school and college and all that sort of good stuff. Alright, so, so it's all good there. Anyway, so, am I attracted to other nerd girls? Yes, I like... I like intelligence and smarts, and I find that quite appealing to me. I mean, definitely also is to go with a pretty face and a good body, pretty much. If I could date any nerd girl, who would it be? Hmm. Well, considering I had to look up a few other nerd girls that got a short list here, hmm. I'd have to narrow it down to, uh, I would date... If I could, I would date either Carrie Bryan or Morgan Webb. Anyway, also, uh, if I could go on a date with either Daphne or Velma from Scooby-Doo, who would I pick? Velma. Velma, Velma. Here you go, me and Velma. Diddle, diddle, doo. They go making out. Mm -hmm. In my dreams, we make out. And we have sex. Ta-da! And would I consider Rose Chu a nerd girl? Mm, yeah, no, she's not a nerd. She's not a nerd girl. She could be a bad fan about some things, but she's not a total nerd. She doesn't, and she doesn't would not consider herself a nerd girl either. All right, and if I could have a nerd girl Sleep over a party, who would I invite? Mm. Well, I would definitely invite Mila Kunis, Carrie Bryan, Megan Fox, Morgan Reb, Cindy Crawford, and the, uh, uh, guessing that they're both considered themselves their girls, the, uh, actresses who play Bernadette and Penny on The Big Bang Theory. Sorry, Amy. You're... You just don't appeal to me that much. It's the face, isn't it? I'm sorry, yes, it's the face. It's not your fault. Mm. Anyway, what's the best reason to date a dark girl? Mm. Well, I'd say between her and me, we can have quite intellectually stimulating conversations. Mostly, I could listen to her talk about what she, what her interests are, what some of the things she uh, knows and I can learn from her and uh, I feel like uh, she could learn from me also. I have an extensive knowledge. I'm so smart. I don't remember everything I know. <laughs> and that's a quote from the Yellow Submarine. But yeah, we would have stimulating conversations and they would be quite pleasant and Everything. We could do it over coffee, tea, or whatever she likes. Anyway, why am I the perfect girlfriend for a nerdy girl? Well, I got a lot to feature. I mean, I'm constantly overlooked and underappreciated as the uh, lesbian trans woman that I am. And if you uh, look at my face and uh, you keep me, and uh, you talk, you actually talk to me, come up to me and talk to me. You find out I'm definitely quite pleasant and easy going to hang around with. And I'm definitely quite busty in other figure in other features as well. And uh, being about five foot eleven, if you're shorter, then I can reach up and help you there. Uh, get the what's high up on the shelf. And uh, shopping, uh, I think. Uh, if you want, if you if uh, they want to do shopping, yeah, I mean, uh, we could definitely shop for dresses and everything. We'd have a fun time. I, I would 
think. Uh, but that's dependent on her first perception, and I don't want, and I can't read minds. But anyway, it'd be pleasant and quite easygoing like that. It's all good. Hmm. Anyway, decide design perfect nerd body. How does it relate to me? All right. Well, nerd the uh, body of uh, perfect nerd girlfriend. Um, I'd say slim to average. Um, she can have a she can have some fat, but not too much fat. All right. And uh, I would definitely I would say C cup breasts minimum. D would be preferred. Because I've realized the difference between C and D more recently. Mm, she was, I would have to have her be about 4 foot 8 to 5 foot 11. Mm, long hair. At least um, down to chin, but more preferably shoulder length or longer. Um, hair color is not a factor here, but. Um, I don't know. Shade of blue hair would be fun that we match, but I think I would. I think I would like brunettes very much. Yeah. Uh, but eye color is definitely not a factor. I do any eye color. It's a window into the soul, and also her face has to be. Uh, but that depends on my on that depends on my perception. Um, she at least has to uh, look good in the face. I. Really, I'm a face person, you know. Mm, other features, um, but yeah, she has to be honest, kind, caring, compassionate. Can be quite spirited and successful in her uh, pa in her passions and interests. Uh, able to stimulate me to be able to be more passionate and less shy and everything. Um, Possibly a, a, an open mind sexually also. But yeah, that's how I would uh, describe a girl, that, a girl that I would like very much. And, you know, also business savvy with a lot of business knowledge uh, here and there. At least enough to get by because over my head, a lot of it, even though my mom was uh, secretary for a number of Businesses. She's got more business knowledge than I could ever. Hmm. Anyway, so that's 10 Q&A nerd questions for initially. If um, if I find more questions I can put more thought and detail into that I could answer, uh, my associate will put that together for me. Um, but until next, my next live streaming, whenever that'll be. Thank you all for watching and have a good safe day.